The Romney-Ryan campaign is criticizing a fellow Republican in Missouri this morning after a bombshell comment about abortion, rape, and pregnancy shook up a very important Senate race there. Nancy Cordes is in Washington with that story. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Kale. Well, the comments made by Missouri Republican Todd Aiken have caused a firestorm, not just because this is one of the most closely watched Senate races in the country, but because national Democrats are already seizing on his comments as they try to push the notion that Republicans are out of touch when it comes to women's health. Congressman Todd Aiken of Missouri just won a tough three-way race in the state's Republican Senate primary. In a local TV interview on Sunday, Aiken was asked about his support for a ban on abortion, even in cases of rape. It seems to me, first of all, from what I understand from doctors, that's really rare. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. Aiken's suggestion that the bodies of women who are raped by force will generally reject a pregnancy was met with instant scorn by his opponent, first-term Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill. In a fundraising letter, her campaign told supporters Aiken's, quote, archaic, ill-informed justification is so incredibly offensive that I had to share it with you. Republicans have considered McCaskill one of the most vulnerable Democrats in the Senate. She is a high-profile supporter of the president, but comes from a state that often votes Republican. Defeating her is central to the GOP's plans to try to win back control of the Senate. Opponents have already spent more than $16 million against her. McCaskill voted to raise our taxes, but didn't pay the taxes on her own private plane. Aiken's comment is already getting reaction on the presidential campaign trail. The Romney campaign was quick to distance itself, saying Governor Romney and Congressman Ryan disagree with Mr. Aiken's statement, and a Romney-Ryan administration would not oppose abortion in instances of rape. I was really terribly concerned that Todd Aiken would say that. But in an interview with CBS News, Democratic Party Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz sought to tie the Aiken comments to the GOP ticket, specifically noting a bill vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan co-sponsored that tried to distinguish between victims of rape and forcible rape. As a woman, I'm really concerned that Paul Ryan doesn't understand that rape is rape. Congressman Aiken has released a statement saying that he reviewed his comments and that he misspoke, though he didn't identify specifically what about. He added that he has deep empathy for the thousands of women who are raped and abused every year.